If you were ever wondering what video from the Leica Q2 Monochrome looks like, well, this is it, straight out of the camera without any editing. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another bloody hot day here in Bangkok. But it's all right because I will get very wet very soon, so I can cool off, it's fine, so I'm not complaining. And as you've seen in the last episode, um, I had a, a different iteration of my protection for my camera so that it doesn't get destroyed by all the crazy amounts of water. Uh, and I have another iteration today, so I change it up again and it looks like this now. And as you can see, there's an action camera mounted on top with a double-sided tape. I hope this holds in place, I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright guys, without further ado, Bangkok. Sokran, Leica Q2 Monochrome, let's go. All right, let's get the party started. This time I went a little later and it was busy right from the start, exactly what I hoped for. <laughs> <laughs> There was a massive battle going on between the people in the back of the pickup and the ones standing next to the road. The perfect spot to get some action shots. <laughs> they simply wouldn't stop. The fight is probably still going on. Actually, it's perfect to shoot in these backlit scenes where the sun provides a rim light and the flash is nicely filling in. Unfortunately though, the sun is moving fast and this only lasts for an hour or so. And the sun is gone behind the buildings on the right. All right guys, I'm now only a few minutes in and uh, already the double-sided tape came off because uh, the tape underneath, uh, yeah, does not stick. So I had now to uh, put the double-sided tape directly onto the, the camera and I think this will work better. Uh, because it's for, it's made for sticking outside and I mean outside in the elements so it should be okay with water hopefully but and it's already crazy so I'm not 
even fully wet yet, so <laughs> let's get back in, get back in there and uh, I need, because I need to cool off, it's so bloody hot. Right, let's have more fun. Another drive by here. <laughs> This was probably a family on a short trip. Very convenient to have a pickup during Songkran. It looked like the people on the bus were happy to be safe in there. Alright guys, a short break here. I uh, hope you can understand me. It's so freaking loud here. Uh, so yeah, I had to replace it again uh, because the battery was dead. Uh, these aftermarket, aftermarket batteries, they don't last that long and uh, I haven't used the camera in a while so I didn't know that. <laughs> but now I have a new battery in and uh, a new uh, double-sided tape so I'm good to go. Uh, the settings that I'm using, I'm shooting at F16, ISO 1600 and uh, aperture priority because the camera will pick the, sh the shutter speed. It works pretty well and I dialed in minus two compensation and that usually gets the job done here pretty well. And the flash is set to uh, one uh, quarter power right now so yeah. Right guys, let's get back right into the action. I think now it's even crazier than before so let's have some fun. <laughs>
I think the Q2 Mono together with the Flash is a really nice combo, especially with the two filters I was using. Again, I got the same issue with moisture in between my filter stack and every 10 to 15 minutes I had to clean them. This was the last episode from Songkran in Bangkok. However, I have more crazy stuff coming and trust me, that will be much wilder than what you can see in this video. <laughs> Oh, nice pool party here. <laughs> if you now think Songkran in Bangkok isn't crazy enough, don't worry, I got you covered because I went to another city where things got really wild and you'll see that in a video very soon. <laughs> Alright guys, I think I will end it here for today. I'm totally soaked. Uh, my shoes are so wet. <laughs> they almost feel like a, like a swimming pool. And uh, as you can see, my camera. Yeah. Uh, so this, this setup that I had uh, today was probably the worst because uh, it did not block the water as good as the ones I had before. And also felt like the lens or the, the, the filter was fogging up even more than before. Uh, the only upside was, guess I guess, the video footage because it's like real first person uh, directly from the camera, basically. And I think that probably looks cool. But besides that, uh, yeah, it's probably <laughs> was probably not that great. Um, but the camera survived, so I'm glad. All right, guys. Uh, as always, if you like this video, um, so give a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see each other very soon when I'm dry again in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>